Quick word here from FanDuel. Happy Super Bowl season to everybody who celebrates from FanDuel America's number one sportsbook. If you're like me, Super Bowl Sunday is all about scoring the best seats on the couch, grabbing your favorite football snacks, and placing some super bets. FanDuel has so many ways for you to end your football season with not just one win, but two or three or four, or hopefully even more. Not only can you bet on who will win Super Bowl 58, but FanDuel also has bets for which players will score touchdowns, how many points will be scored, and so many other props you can't even keep track of them. New customers, if you join today, you get $200 in bonus bets if your first bet of $5 or more wins. So visit FanDuel.com slash UCSS to sign up. That is FanDuel.com slash UCSS. Make every moment more with FanDuel, an official partner of the NFL. Ken Dorsey was not the only coach hired by the Browns over the weekend. They also hired a new defensive line coach, but they still had Ben Bloom on the staff. So I guess they have two defensive line coaches now. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. What would you guys make of the hire of, and I'm going to pronounce Jacques his name Cesaire. wrong. That's it. Jax Cesaire. What'd you make of the hire, Bull? What do I make? It's a defensive line coach. I mean, what am I doing there? I don't know. <laughs> Let me tell you what he's going to be doing. That's exactly he my gonna answer. He's going to be going out, getting out there early, putting the bags down. Yeah. Getting out there early, putting the tackling dummies in row, getting out there shining Miles Garrett's visor up, so putting the, lining the helmets up, and putting the stickers on the back when the free agents come in. He ain't about to do I mean, he played the league for 10 years. That's good, I guess. I don't think Ben Bloom did. He's, he's one of them dudes that, that he's the equivalent of the, of, the, of the assistant coaches in basketball in college that get the, to get the chairs out. Ha, ah, good job, guys. Ha, ah, here's the chair. <laughs> Sit down. Ha, ah, we got 30 seconds. Now good job. Is he giving the water bottle squirts? Yeah, you? yeah, hold on. You, you want mine? But you're the perfect one to ask because you played D-line. So what really does the D-line coach do during the week? Nothing. That's really it. <laughs> He tell you like he's the dude on the pursuit drill. If you dog in it, you know what, guys, get him up, up, down, tweet, tweet, tweet. That's all he does. He you're saying your no D defensive line coach, line coach, former player. No, my de- my defensive line coach moved up. He realized when he was at OU, I'm not getting no money off. So let me go to Northwestern. Mm. And then he was a D coordinator. After he left there, he went to the Bears. Uh, it's Eric Washington. I believe he's the assistant head coach uh, with, with the Bills. Oh. Yeah, he's he a just got, no, the Eric guy who became your DC D-line job. coach. Oh, at, Eric Washington, D.C., where, he, where is he at? Shout out to Co- Coach Wash, too. Eric and, Washington just got the D.C. job uh, with the Bears. Yeah, yeah, shout out go. to him and his, his lovely wife, Amy. I appreciate you. All right, so like, whoever took over for him, had, had that guy played in the league? No, he played for us. His name was Nick Toth. He played for you guys? Yeah, he played for us. His, okay, so at least claim, he played... Division one college. He, his claim to fame. Did that got, make a difference to you? He got ran over by Ron Day. He used to play safety. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, he got smashed he by Ron He played safety and he coaches the line. Yeah, see, see, did, and he was a GA. <laughs> that happens a lot. And he yeah. was a GA when I was there. Oh, so, that's not. So I was like, oh, you, what you mean you telling me I was in the wrong gap? I was in the right gap. You didn't know that? Like, get out of here. <laughs> like, like, no, they don't, like, no. If you are a tight ends coach, that means you're the tight ends coach and you're, you're the recruiting coordinator. Yeah. <laughs> or you're the tight ends coach or you're the special teams guy. By the way, yeah. I'm now picturing G. Bush on the sideline, like doing analogies to the coaches about why they screwed up. <laughs> yeah, oh, exactly. <laughs> oh, I used to do that all the time. <laughs> G, uh, I'll, I'll, use, I'll use one of your words to, uh, to describe what I think of this movie. <laughs> It's Minimoski. <laughs> Minimoski. I don't know what. I don't know. That's true. I laughed. That's the perfect word. I laughed when I saw it. Now look. <laughs> no disrespect. But, you guys, you guys are overlooking out. the big picture here. What? So this guy played What's in the, the league for a while, obviously oh, oh. nine yeah. years. Okay. He just helped in Houston. Jonathan Green, uh, Grenard yeah. have the best season of his career, doubled his sack. Yeah, but G's saying that the coach had nothing I, to do. I, with I refuse that. to. And G, you know way better than me, so I'm not. But there's no way this dude just sets up cones. <laughs> Like, there's no way all position he coaches are just setting up don't cones. Minim- like, minimize like he, it. I he's, holding, he's holding the cards up for the but scout. But wait a second, G. We talk about the O-line coaches if he's a guy. Right. I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that. Is that really fair? Off- offensive line is all about technique and leverage. Yeah. Defensive line, you're reacting. Defensive you? line is about athleticism and get off. Yeah. But oh, I, I athleticism, did. The D, there was a D-lineman on, on uh, I think it was Detroit. Was it Detroit? 
Yeah, well, I the can't the remember which team was. City. Super fat guy. He was just fat. That guy, Michael, Michael, Michael Pierce oh, that, on Baltimore. That fat guy might have been him. Yeah. Let me just tell you, words of Jay. That fat guy is is faster than ninety percent of the civilians. Oh yeah, I know. But I, I love that he's fat. <laughs> but is he's there for a run stop? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's there to stop that run. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I, I do have to say, when uh, when we were at the Greenbrier, the defensive line was right in front of us, mm-hmm. and Ben Bloom was doing more than just pulling out the tackling. They were working technique, hands, all that drills. Now there's two defensive line coaches, right? Well, Ben Bloom is still being kept on as the He's, run game coordinator. I'm not sure what's going to happen <coughs> with him. I, you know what's interesting to me so far? We know that half the roster is free agents coming up. It's the, I, I think that all these coaching moves were precipitated by someone other than Kevin Stefanski. Um, it better work. Last year, they brought in Jim Schwartz. We thought that was a home run. Nobody played him off as Minimoski because we knew yep. that was the guy they needed. I think they're making changes in areas that didn't have red flags up. Well, I, and so they better. We better be markedly better next year. There were so many injuries on the offensive side of the ball. It's it's hard for me to say what worked and what didn't. Right. They were in, they were in well, triage the, mode. I know for were, most of the year. We can agree on this. I think Njoku had a career year. Yeah. Why are you firing his position coach if he makes a difference? Like, the offense was not the problem with this football team. Injuries were. Correct. And patchworking. Well, turnovers. All of, turnovers. Yeah, turnovers, were, turnovers yeah. killed them too. But injuries, I think, were the, the headline. If you're going to use one word to describe the season, it would have to be injuries. More than any other team yeah. I can remember, yeah. ever. You, you hate making an excuse for injuries for an NFL team because they all have them, but this was to an extreme this was that I don't I, recall. Yeah. And, and so to me, on offense, the on job offense. they yeah. did on offense with all of these injuries that were popping up one after another, sometimes two or three in a week, the fact that they were able to be as successful as they were on offense, to me, I th- would consider their coaching work a success. Absolutely agree. And they're gutting the thing. Can, now, now, I always ask every year. And I think this gets them in trouble. Can somebody tell me what the identity of the Browns offense is? Well, we it's it's a changing identity because it goes from Chubb in to Chubb out. This quarterback is in. This quarterback is in. It got but, to the point last year, I, I talked about a lot, where I, by necessity, this isn't the identity oh, they yeah, wanted, but yeah. by necessity last year, it became heavy sets, extra linemen, play action, Deep shots on third down. Yeah. That was their identity. And I think screens. What, but that I won't be their identity next that year. That will not be the identity. Here, here's next what year. I what's think. What's the Rams' identity as an offense? I mean, uh, uh, not the Rams. What's the Lions' identity as an offense? Uh, great run game. Great run game. Nice offensive line play action. They got game. a great pass game, too. They do. But, but they work it off the run game, though. They do. They definitely set up their pass off their run game. God, they ran the ball great yesterday. Still can't believe they lost. I, 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 I still can't. I think it's dictated by the talent you have. It's not like not having a. Uh, not having a, a identity as an offense is because the offense is not good enough. I well, guess. Well, well, I could tell you. There's not enough talent. Look, there. I could look around the league and I could tell you exactly what the identity of certain teams are. And I think that, that here's what happened. The owner said, "Look, I'm not just telling you. Like, yo, I I I got this this sports car. I keep driving it on these country roads. I don't want to drive and see and see uh, uh, you know the woods of Ashtabula. I'm not going. Yeah. to... <laughs> I want to get this thing <laughs> well, on, on the Autobahn, and I want to move. So when you look at it, yes, you're successful. Have you ever done something that you're, you're good at, but you just don't like the feel of it? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a nasty feeling. Well, the good news is that Jim and the son-in-law have a great track record of doing things by the book. <laughs> as hey, well. hey, I tell yeah. you what, they're champions. You, you put some name on the Columbus crew. You put some respect on it. Is he's son a, involved he's, in a, team he's, team he's a world champion, Bull. He got that ring right now. He it's Now true. he can make those decisions. He Bucks, said, Bucks have already fired another coach. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to put that on him, too? He did. Oh, my God. That is true. <laughs> Bucks have already fired another coach. They did coach. get him up out of there. Do you think he has something to do with that? Jimmy bought in. They fired two coaches did, already. Did you think two he, head did, coaches. Do you think he really has say-so or something like that? Uh, I mean, he's, he's a partner in the ownership. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. He's not I mean, the majority I think, owner, though, right? Well, it's a split. It's a it's a weird setup it's, that they have in Milwaukee. Boy, those never <laughs> confused by you know that. The, you know the saying, when you have two quarterbacks, you have none? Yeah. When McNuggets, you have two owners, you have none. Yeah. We never, so here's the thing. He told us, you do not mess with Deshaun Watson. You better leave Giannis alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He is a player's guy. Just stop playing. <laughs> Jason, we'll put a bow on this after this, but any impact? Because it seems like G and J don't think 
a line coach has any impact. No. In, but do you think it has any impact? You were there watching the defensive line in Greenbrier. Anything that this new guy who played in the league for nine years can can maybe bring and help? <laughs> I, you know, the the, you great, the know. larger point that you made, Mike, that I hadn't really picked up on was the amount of former players that they're bringing on to the staff. I do think that there's something to that. I, yeah, that's but that's not uncommon. I mean, if you no, look but, across but the that, league. No, but it hasn't been here. Like, they haven't had a ton of former players here in coaching roles. They brought DeQuell in in that role well, of advisory type of role. Yeah, last year. Andrew but Barry. prior to that, I'm, I'm trying to go through their – I mean, AVP played in the league. But they have Tommy Reese now, who obviously played in uh, – Yeah, but – Played – uh, I mean, he, played, barely, played. he barely played. Stump, Tommy Reed. But I mean, but just, but he was played. A, played as a player. Yeah, but I, a big I time mean, college player. there's a difference from, you know, Tyvis played in the league more than him. That's correct. Yeah, and if he hired Tyvis, I'd say he's a former player too. Sure. But so, uh, look, at some point, I think it's more rare when you hire someone that just that wasn't, that didn't play. That To me, that's an outlier. Uh, here's, the, here's what it is. I feel like this may be right or wrong. I feel like Jim Schwartz is the linebackers coach, the secondary coach, the D-line coach, the safeties coach. I agree with that, too. <laughs> if, like, if, what impact is if, it as if, a D-line coach, a if, second D-line coach? If a defensive lineman get blocked or is in the wrong gap, I don't even think his coach going to say nothing. Jim Schwartz already going to be like, what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, mm-hmm. Like he just pulls up. Maybe that's just my, you know, just you know, my perception. I, I, I don't think it could be a bad. Listen, they, this guy played in the league for ten years. Played a, I think, seven playoff games. Like we said with the running back coach, you never know. There could be a little nugget that he has right. from his experience sure. that could help even Miles Garrett. It, nothing's impossible. So who knows?